So we've been talking about how water can auto ionize itself, turn itself into hydronium and hydroxide ions. And it's an equilibrium reaction that lies very heavily to the left. Water, almost all water molecules stay water molecules. Only one in 10 million will auto ionize and turn into hydronium and hydroxide ions. So for this equilibrium reaction, it's affected by temperature, just like all equilibrium reactions. So if I told you the above reaction is endothermic, we would have to supply energy to get water to auto ionize. So I'm going to put heat on the left hand side of this reaction if it's endothermic. And the question down here says, if the reaction is endothermic, what would happen to hydro hydronium and hydroxide at higher temperatures? So we have to think about Le Chatelier here and which direction the equilibrium would shift. So if we are talking about higher temperatures and our reaction is endothermic, we would want to use up that heat energy and so the reaction would shift to the right to try to consume the heat energy. We don't wanna to go to the left and create more heat that would heat up the reaction a lot and make the problem worse. So if we warm up this reaction, it would cause the reaction to shift to the right and therefore create more hydronium and hydroxide ions. So at higher temperatures, the H3O plus and the OH minus concentrations would increase. If you were at lower temperatures, the reaction would try to warm itself up by creating more water molecules and my H3O plus and my hydroxide ion concentrations would both decrease. Well, if we said right here that your, uh, you would take your Kw is H3O plus times OH minus, and then if we said here my H3O plus and OH minus are getting bigger if it's warmer, and then if it's colder, they would decrease my H3O plus and OH minus concentrations. That means that when it's hot, you'd have big H3O plus times big OH minus. And so your K value would be big, larger than one times 10 to the negative 14th. And if my reaction was cold, I'd have less H3O plus and less OH minus and so when I plug that in there, my value of K would be smaller. So the value of K is impacted by the temperature. So when does Kw equal 1 times 10 to the negative 14th? When does the pH of water equal 7? Only at room temperature 25 degrees Celsius. If your water is not at 25 degrees Celsius, its pH is not 7.